hi all in this video i am going to explain about memoization in javascript memoization is nothing but it's caching something so it's a programming technique that we use to speed up the function and it can be used to do whenever we have an expensive function which takes long time to execute okay so that is called memoization so it's a progr programming technique uh, for caching something which takes a long time i will show you a simple example for example i will i will write a function multiply multiply by 2 and it will takes a number as an argument what uh, it is doing us it is just multiply whatever the number we are passing and it will multiply with the 2 so it's a simple example okay 2 into num this is a simple example uh, but in your in in memoization case it is some example it will take uh, to execute long time okay for understanding purpose i am writing only a simple one so multiply by 2 if i am giving 8 and saving then it will return 16 i'm just doing a console dot log of saying long time so just assume this functions is taking long time to execute it's not a console dot log but uh, assume there will be a api call uh, or there will be some expensive functionality which takes a long time to execute something is there uh, inside this function okay and after that execution only we are consoling to into num something something like you can assume okay so if i call multiply by 2 again what will happen is it will execute the whole steps which takes a uh, long time to execute and when i giving the same input again it repeats the same steps and it will execute the same so what memoization is doing if we try to call one argument and it will execute something and if if i am passing or calling with the same argument again the first time it will store it inside the cache and the second time if i call eight to the multiple by 2 it has been already executed before so it will fetch the detail from the cache instead of doing the same steps again and again so i will show how this example can be memoized okay so for that i am adding a variable cache equal to an empty object and i am checking if not num sorry if num in cache num in cache means if the num is not inside the cache object that means if it is inside the cache object just console cache of num else first time it won't be available right so this num is not available the first time what will happen first time multiply by 2 if 8 has been executed it will check 8 is there in the cache no if it is not in the cache we will execute this functionality and before consoling the 2 into num what we will do cache of num we will store that execution in into the cache num and we will show that value also so what it is doing it is doing the execution long time execution functionality whatever it may be in the real time scenario and that output will be stored in the cache num and we will show it next time if the same input someone is giving it will check it is there in the cache num and if it is there they will return the data if it is not there it will execute the long time 
so this is how it is happening so i am saving it and you can see first time it will go to js 10th line console dot from the else condition and the second time it will console from the sixth line that means it is displaying from the cache so this is called memoization techniques it's very simple in 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 normal scenario if i if you want to call an api uh, which is taking a uh, long time and the same api has to be called in somewhere else also you have you can cache those response value uh the same way we can also execute some expensive functions in the cache and next time it is calling with the same input you can return the data from the cache so this is called memoization it's very simple um, yeah, and also it is very powerful as well so for the performance for improvising the performance or the speed up the functionalities you can use the memoization the next thing i am going to explain is the code about the code whichever i have written we can refactor some more secure way secure means whatever the variable i have declared here cache is outside the scope that is in the global scope so that can be accessed okay so it is since it is an out, outside scope i will move uh, or anyone will be able to change this cache object right so what i will do is like i will move this cache inside this object in order to give more security but what happens is if i am giving it always the cache will get empty and always it will go to this else condition so in order to avoid that we can use the option called closures right so how you will write a uh, closure is just return a function that's it just return a function and whatever the, we have written here we will move inside the return functionality and the one more thing we can do is instead of passing the num into multiply by 2 you can pass directly inside the function as well and the way of calling the closures okay way of calling the closures is also different it's not like directly calling it so instead we can call multiply by 2 object equal to multiply by 2 function and when you call this function it will return another function so another function is getting returned to this variable and that function accept the parameter num then you can pass 8 here and again if i'm trying to access 8 8 again first time you can see long time and 16 the second time you can see a 16 only so this is how uh, memoization with closure it's working well uh, with more security